would you define in a little while? In the Holy Gospel according to St. John, in chapter 16, Jesus says to his disciples, A little while, and you will see me no longer. And again in a little while, and you will see me. Jesus sure loves cryptic riddles to confuse us. It was after Jesus instituted the Lord's Supper when he spoke these words. Within 24 hours, he would be buried in a tomb where the disciples would not see him, and three days later, they would see him as the risen Savior. But then he adds, because I am going to the Father. Well, clearly, Jesus is speaking about his coming ascension, which we will celebrate next Thursday. Jesus has ascended to the right hand of the Father 43 days after he spoke these words to the disciples. Clearly, a little while. Jesus said, in a little while, you will see me no longer. That is, when he ascended, and then in a little while, maybe with even in that same little while of 40 days, give or take, the disciples should see him again. But Jesus' ascension is nearly 2,000 years ago now. Surely that doesn't count as a little while any longer. Why is Jesus being so slow in returning? I think Peter may have been pondering these very words when he wrote, The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient toward you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. For you, Jesus is still observing his little while. He's coming again, and everyone's going to see him. That's guaranteed. Jesus is delaying his coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead so that you will be saved. He's already saved you by his death on the cross. All your sin is forgiven, and where there is forgiveness of sins, there's life and salvation. But not everybody knows this saving gospel yet. So Christ is patient. He is merciful. He might seem slow to you, but he's not. He is allowing his saving message to permeate your ears and the ears of others so that none will perish but have everlasting life in him. Christ has died for the sins of the whole world of all time. He does not desire any to perish in hell, nor does he predestine anyone for that horrible eternity. Only those who reject him, who do not repent, will join the devil in his demonic horde. Christ has been merciful and patient toward you. He has saved you by his death and resurrection. In a little while, you will be with him eternally. You will see him, and your heart will rejoice. And no one will take your joy from you, for Jesus has saved you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.